Dog Productions. Hey, I uh, got a new thing uh, this year that I'm going to add to my channel. And uh, as you can see, it's right here. Uh, this is the Five Fish 5 Evo or V Evo. Uh, this is an underwater drone. So if you follow my channel, uh, you know I do a lot of uh, video work, uh, video and photo work above water, on the water, and underwater. And uh, with some of the camera rigs I've designed and that I deploy at different lakes here in the Northwest. And um, there's been a couple applications where something like an underwater drone would be really handy for uh, surveying things, getting a closer, you know, closer look, better detail, uh, and also be able to actually kind of stay on target to analyze things and give a different perspective. Uh, so uh, this year I was fortunate enough to uh, get this here, and uh, I'm going to open this up and give you all a quick look at it and kind of get your head wrapped around a bit, and as well as mine too. This will be the first time I've utilized an underwater drone. As you all know that uh, I use my aerial drones, uh, different ones. I have a, a Mavic Mini Pro 3, uh, a Mavic, um, well, I had a Mavic 2, uh, but I have a Pro 3 now. I use a, a DJI FPV and also a Nevada just kind of depends on what I'm filming at the time, you know, what I need to capture and how it needs to be captured. And uh, this unit here uh, can take 4K video and it can take photographs as well. It is tethered like all underwater uh, ROVs are, uh, which is kind of nice. Something happens, you can grab the cord and kind of pull it back. Uh, and the cord does float, which is pretty nice. It will float on the surface for you know for a reasonable amount of time and of course if your drone is like over here it's going to be at an angle down to it uh, so proper deployment is going to be uh, crucial uh, but anyway uh, let me kind of get this thing opened up and i'll kind of describe to you exactly what it does and uh, how i plan to deploy it and kind of give you a quick rundown and this uh, kind of give you something to think about what's going to be added to my channel this season all right so let's get into it Okay, so this is the picture on the box here of the Evo. And then over here, I also have um, what I will be using uh, primarily. Uh, this is an iPad. Uh, iPad is one of the devices that I'll be using to control it. And this, this is a sun shield uh, and a tablet uh, holder. So this will clamp onto the uh, radio that you control the drone with. And so if you want to run a larger screen, you can uh, attach your uh, iPad or a tablet inside of this. This system, just so you know, the Five Fish Evo and a lot of the uh, five, I believe all the Five Fish ones, the app operates on Android and it operates on uh, Apple iOS systems. I also have it um, installed and operating on my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note. So that way if something goes wrong with the tablet, battery dies or whatever, I can also use this because the stock controller holds a phone and we'll see that shortly. Okay, so you can see this is the uh, V-Evo um, ROV. This over here is the uh, an optional attachment you can get for it with the uh, claws that will open and close. And you can also change these grippers out to different types. The kit, uh, when you get this, does come with the point, pointed ones, and you'll notice these little holes here. It comes with flat pads, and I'll discuss that in just a second. And so this clips underneath the drone and bolts underneath and plugs in, and then you have the ability to be able to grab things when you're underwater. The controller here, as you can see, the controller holds your uh, phone. You push this little button on the back, opens it up, and you set your phone in there and clamp it in place. And this is some of your controls for it. In a, in a nutshell, uh, you have an SD card down under here and a charge port to charge the controller. This creates its own Wi-Fi uh, signal that goes to your uh, cell phone or your tablet, whatever, so there's no hard wiring necessary. Um, 
And this is your power button. This uh, locks and unlocks the prop system. And this one here, uh, position holds it in the water. So you can put it in any orientation you want and it will maintain its depth in that particular position. And these are all your different axes. You have buttons up here for your headlights, off, uh, low beam and high beam. And this one opens and closes your controllers. This wheel over here raises the drone nose up, nose down. And these are your mode switches for your attitude sport and combined. Uh, just depends on how you want to do it. If you want to do the FPV type thing with the goggles, you'd have to put it in combined. And this is your photograph button and this is your video button. So that's kind of that. And over here is your spool. Uh, one end connects into the back of your ROV. The other one plugs into the back of the controller. So this particular one you'll notice here, it's got uh, these two uh, HID, uh, HI LED headlights. And they, like I said they, earlier, they have a low and high beam, and that is your uh, view for your 4K camera, up to 4K. You can select lower resolutions if you want, uh, so you're not just limited to 4K. If you want to put more on a storage card, lower a little bit lower resolution. You can see I have installed the weed guards on here, so there's no fear about getting weeds pulled into the props. And uh, spin it around here, and this is where your cord plugs in, and then it loops around this wing right here. And that way, if you have to pull some, it's pulling here and not on here. On the underside, flip over here. On the underside, you'll notice it uh, has a port here. And this is where this attaches to. So when this is mounted like this, this plugs in under here like that. And these are buoyancies. Okay, so we're going to talk about the grippers here. So you can get uh, these standard grippers as they are. And let me grab out of the box here. It also has, along with the chargers and, you know, you got regular chargers and stuff like that. Um, one charger for the uh, controller, one charger for the uh, drone itself. The Evo takes about an hour or so to charge to completely and depending on how much you're using the motors, the lights, and resolution of the camera uh, will obviously determine your your uh, usability time, but I'd say anywhere between, and we'll say an hour and a half to two hours possibly, it can go much longer if you put it on station and you're just viewing something. Um, and so in this packet here are some extra grippers that I was talking about. And so what happens is these bolt on like this when it's open and so that you're able to pinch something this way. Um, also, uh, I'm 3D printing another set of arms that will attach here because you'll notice this opens this way. And um, what I'm really looking for is the ability to also have it go this way. So I'm 3D printing another set of these uh, that a gentleman sent me the plans for. And so it will then be able to clamp this way. That way, if you got to get underneath something, grab it this way, you can. Um, and I'll be pr I'm printing those out of ASA. Um, and then kind of the bag comes with the screws to be able to attach them on here, screws and nuts. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of put this thing together real quick so you can see what it looks like in its normal configuration. And I'll probably go ahead and just turn on the uh, iPad so you get an idea of some of the things that it will show you on the screen. That way, um, the reason I'm doing this is to kind of introduce this to the channel and uh, give you an idea that when you, when you start seeing this, some of the film and footage that I'll be taking with this, uh, wherever I may deploy it, that you'll have a, an early understanding of how I'm doing it and what I'm using to get these images. So let me get this thing all thrown together here real quick and uh, back at you in just a second. Okay, so what you're looking at right here is the view from my iPad. If I can get it kind of centered in there. Uh, and that is the view looking out of the drone camera. Because you can see here, if I look up, I've got it propped up facing into my fish tank right here. And uh, so this is the view you, you see when you're actually operating it. And it tells you quite a few different things. It tells you your degrees that it's facing over here. And these over here is your camera, video, start, stop, 
And these are some of the other statistics up here, tools, battery charge, Wi-Fi signal, USA controller configuration, current temperature, and what it's like currently it's in uh, attitude mode and um, different different stuff like right now it's at uh, its depth is zero because I'm just sitting here in the room uh, this will also by the way this uh, particular uh, ROV will go down to 334 feet I believe in depth so your view on my tablet here is basically what it's doing it's showing you uh, the camera view of the drone. You can see the claws uh, right here. And so I believe if I, if I open up the grippers, you can see that it does that. So you can reach out and grab something. And you're able to see what you're doing when you do that. So uh, that kind of gives you a basic rundown of uh, what... I plan on utilizing this this season in some applications and um, no I won't be putting this in my fish tank I don't think they would like that too much uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway so look for this uh, five fish V Evo to be used on my channel here this year and um, it should be a it should be pretty fun I'm hoping to get some really unique uh, underwater footage and be able to do some uh, documentation up close and personal of, of uh, all kinds of things this year. So with that, this is Dana Price at Amber Dog Productions. Looking forward to the new season. See ya.